If you like this video and channel, click on the like button and subscribe button. Also, if you want to have notification when new video released, click on the notified button. Welcome in video where you can see how to create connection between your WinCC runtime application and PLC. Okay, first we insert some new device, for example, PLC 1215. Okay, for example, version V4.2. Okay, now we click on this PLC and go to the properties and change the IP address of this PLC. We use 0 0.50. And also we enable system memory bits and clock memory bits. Save the project and compile the hardware and software conf configuration. Okay, everything is okay. Now we can go to the network view and also add the PC systems. Okay, we insert the PC system, click on the PC system icon and then click on the Simatic HMI application. We use WinCC RT Advanced. Click, oh, click on the OK. Okay, now we have Simatic PC station in our hardware configuration, but we also need some communication modules. We use Industrial Ethernet General module. Okay, we click on it and drag and drop it to the Simatic PC station. And also in the properties, change the IP address. We use 0 0.51. OK, save the project. And now we can create the connection between the PC system and PLC. Click on the connection button. Choose HMI connection and connect the CP Industrial Ethernet communication processor and PLC. Okay, now we have created the connection between these two devices and compile the hardware configuration to see if everything is okay. Okay, there's only some warnings. Now we go to the HMR runtime project and open the option connection and how we can see we have created connection between Simatic PC station and PLC. Here also you can see the IP address of these devices. <coughs> okay, now we can create some screen in our VNCC runtime application. For example, we use the name main screen. OK, save the project and go to the toolbox where we use elements as button. This button we use for stopping the runtime. Also, we use circle basic object to see if we have the communication with PLC and also text object which we named live bit. OK, go to the properties and we change a little bit the text format of this text. For example, 35 pixels and centered horizontal alignment. OK, we a little bit alignment these objects. And now we make the functionality of the stop runtime button. We go to the general option of this button and change the text when button is pressed or is not pressed. We use the text stop RT as stop runtime. In the events we use the release button function and also we use function stop runtime. 
when we release this button then we stop the application on the computer okay now we save the project and now we create animation for the cycle object we use the appearance function and as the process tag we use the tag from the memory clock byte for example we use the one hertz frequency and if this tag will be zero the background color of the object will be gray and when will be true the background object will be green okay now we just change the name of this tag in the default talk table tag table of the WinCC runtime application for example we name it live bit okay and change the acquisition cycle time to 100 millisecond to see the changes of this tag on the our screen okay now we can go back to the screen and how we can see the name of the tag also change in the appearance animation of this object now I think yes we also now change the IP address of the computer on which the application will be run you change the settings of your Ethernet adapter in this project for the WinCC RT advanced application we use the IP address 0.51 Okay, when we change the, when we define the, uh, the IP address, we click on the OK button, and now we can go back to the TIA portal and check if we use right IP address. Yes, 0 0.51. Okay, after these changes, we can download the project, the PLC project of TIA portal to our PLC. On the network, we find PLC with IP address 0 0.60. And now to this PLC, we load the, our changes. We load our created program. Now you want to wait several minutes when TIA portal loads the changes to the PLC. Okay, now we load this changes to the PLC and it's time to start the runtime application and check if everything's work okay. Okay now we started the application and how we can see live bit shining that means uh, we have the connection with PLC and our runtime application. this this cycle object shining by the frequency 1 hertz this object shining because the live bit changing his state from false to true by 1 hertz and this means we have the connection between PLC and WinCC RT application. We can see the name of the connection is HMI Connection 1 and acquisition cycle is 100 millisecond. 
Okay, this is the all for this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.